when I was younger, the sound of my voice used to catch me off guard. So I trained my teeth how to become barricade, how to keep words out, how to treat speech like an invader. Then make fool of me in a room full of people. So I let silence stage a sit-in in my mouth. By age four, my parents did not call it mute. They called it shy, called me a wind of a boy, a breeze that would pick up conversation eventually, said my whispers were loud enough for them to hear that any keen ear would know the music in my tone if they listened hard enough. I too could teach their eardrums how to dance in second grade. My drama teacher, a megaphone loud woman named my quiet like archeologist, dug deep and diagnosed me with selective mutism. That my fear of talking was social anxiety and not attitude explained that I was so afraid of people that my vocal cords locked themselves in that I was not outlier but pioneer like Maya Angelou when you quiet like a cage bird it did not sing in the wake of trauma its wings heavy with the weight of grief this is what we call reactive mutism when a painful experience suffocates the throat meanwhile James Earl Jones taught us that everything the light touches is our kingdom. But as a young boy, he couldn't let his inner lion roar. This is what we call functional mutism. To have a stutter like a broken record, so he vowed never to speak again. What ties us all together is not our silence, but our speech. <laughs> How we stumbled upon poetry like refugees. We were the ones who saw obstacles and thought duck, thought flight. For this can't be the end. The ones who didn't need subtitles because our voices were punctuation marks. This is for my ninth grade teacher who told me that poetry is a daydream that a township kid like me could never afford. Said I'd have to teach my mouth how to be white flag, how to surrender. Like it didn't take me years to sharpen my tongue for battle. Slam poetry taught me how to be a fighter, how to use honesty and sincerity as my greatest weapons. My voice being the only thing in my arsenal, how to use microphone like warrior, how to be defiant with my ambitions, how to speak in the language of dreams, how to be an asthma pump for all the people who couldn't breathe clear the smoke of struggle. This is how I've used these stages as remedy. How every applaud is an affirmation that my story matters. Every snap of the finger, a reminder that I am a victory song, that every time I've performed, I've conquered my greatest fears. This is an ode to the poet I became. I still have selective mutism. Then on some days, my voice, it does something miraculous, something it was never built for. Speak, speak, and speak.